Hi, I'm Jeff Cleveringa with Star Ranch Growers, and we're here above Lake Chelan at one of our orchards, and we've been testing the uh, automated bird laser. We started this because uh, we were having some issues with neighbors and not liking uh, bird squawkers and uh, propane cannons. So lots of complaints in this area, so we started looking at alternatives. Led us down the road to the bird control group, and we then started testing this bird laser last year. What we saw across the road in Honeycrisp really made us uh, quite intrigued. Uh, the birds would sit on the, the power lines that go over top of the orchard of the Honeycrisp at night and they would just line that and then they would be jumping down into the orchard constantly. When we put the laser up, we saw virtually no birds. They all left the wire, they never came back. And so we thought, oh, this is very intriguing. We found that it really worked quite well. We were really surprised. So we decided, okay, that was one year's data. We needed another year under our belts to make sure that this really truly is, you know, controlling the birds and keeping them at bay and moving them throughout the block. So we suspect that it is, uh, the birds can see this going uh, through the trees as it follows a pattern that you set. And the birds uh, then are leery of move movement and they see this laser bouncing through the trees and stuff. I think one of the biggest lessons we learned was that you need to be above the trees. You have to shine down in and you can't be just flat across the top of the orchard. So the higher you can get elevation wise, the better it works. Uh, just because you, the birds can see it move better across the trees. So they can see it bounce through the trees. You're shining all the way to the ground versus just hitting the tops of the trees and those things. The other is the programming. I think there's room for improvement. Uh, there's some user interface things that could be a lot nicer and cleaner. And, but uh, we're, we've been working with the company trying to get some of those things tidied up for the next version. So with, if you had 30 minutes of tutorial, you'd be good to go. And you could train anyone to do it in 30 minutes and program it and set it and stuff. So really, it's, it really just comes down to familiarity with how the program thinks and reads and, and works. And then after you've done that, then it just is repetitive after that.